we go. Here we go. I need a microphone. Uh oh, uh oh, it's the melody now. Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope you are doing fabulous. I am doing well. Make sure to go ahead and like this video, subscribe. Follow your girl on social media. Spring is coming and I'm back, okay? You know, I had to go into hibernation for the winter, but we are back. You've seen the title correctly. Honey, why y'all didn't tell me? Why y'all didn't tell me the SWV and Escape had a show coming out on the Bravo? Why y'all didn't tell me that? What was wrong? What? I had to find that out on my own. I have to check this out and I figured for the first episode, I would come through, okay? And we could talk about it, okay? Like we used to do. You remember? You remember? I'm currently on my planning period. I'm ready for my kids to come in. So let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said down below, let me know your thoughts on this show. I think Bravo knows exactly what they're doing because this is prime time, good ass TV. SWV and Escape, they both came out around the same time. Then they broke up around the same time, around about, okay? And when they asked Coco, so when did all of this go bad? And she was like, honey, the beginning? Okay, Coco. She gonna tell you like it T.I. is. Who else don't beat around the bush? Tiny don't beat around the bush. She say what she got to say. <laughs> Candy, she gonna say exactly what she gotta say, but she kinda like whatever. But the one who genuinely don't give a damn is Coco. Coco's like, look, this vocal cord is gonna pay me for the rest of my life. I can say exactly what I feel like and that's it. I shan't get penalized. Have a great day. <laughs> Something that I figured out watching this is not a bad show. Yes, we love the mess. Yes, we love to cackle and laugh at them. But I figured out they are all alive, honey. Ain't nobody had no stroke. Praise God. Everybody is still alive. Everybody can still sing. Like, I'm very confused sometimes, especially when I saw their unsungs, because I was sitting up here like, y'all are still alive and can still use your gifts. Like, what is happening? So sometimes when I see them arguing and seeing all their egos, I'm just sitting here like, child, it was just a bunch of bad deals. Yes, y'all were young. As females, unfortunately, we bicker and fight and do all that shit. But the vocal box, let's get this money, okay? So I am glad that they are all together to do this show because, honey, they had to sign the contracts to get this popping, okay? So I'm glad that they did come together to do this because, honey, this is some good TV. Good job to Bravo for breaking it down with everybody's because I felt like I saw everybody, okay? And we'll see some more, I guess, of Lily and Taj on the next episode. We'll see more of it. So it's not really just about Escape and SWV because we know about them. We you done heard the music for the past 30 years. What the hell was I saying? Bravo, they did a good job because of course we've known Escape for the past 30 years. So I want to see them now. Taj said that Coco's ego was the fourth member of the group. Womp womp. Now with something I can say, just watching them, just looking at them. Coco still got that attitude. Coco, like I said, she don't give a fuck. Them back then, I can't imagine. Especially, same with Escape. Like, them back then, I can't imagine. I can't imagine how they are now. But back then, child, mm, all of them have figured out they are better together than apart. Yes, um, Tiny and Candy did songwriting and they won Grammys. Eggs and hips and buddy. Now granted, she's made some money. She got on Real Housewives. She's done her thing as Candy Burris, okay? But at the same time, we want her with Escape. Same with Coco. Coco had some hits, okay? Also in the gospel realm. But we want her with SWV. It took for somebody, aka Jermaine Dupri, I think it was, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong. They wanted to do like their life story or something. And Escape was like, oh, hell no, we're still yet alive. Like, we are not the Temptations. What are you doing? So in 2017, that's how they got back together. And I was like, that's a damn shame. Granted, I wondered how Escape and SWV got together. And I forgot that they did a versus. Child, the pandemic, that was a time, wasn't it? We're just now going back to concerts and things like that. We're just now breathing on our own without a mask. Breathe again. Tony Braxton. Can I just say how I'm so glad that Lily and Tiny are on the show? Like, they give the comedic relief I'm looking for. Because Tiny, she don't give a shit. And same with Lily. They are very happy to be here. They know what they are here to do, okay? They are the ones in the group that literally, they like, well, I'm just happy getting my check. Can we just get this money, okay? Woo, I forgot back in 2007 that Tamika did go on the radio, okay? And told everybody, all of Atlanta and beyond, that Candy was sleeping with so, so deaf. I said, oh, shit. 
They say they mended it, okay. But now the for real sisters are bickering. Something happened while they were in Vegas and she felt body shamed in a text message. And granted, I did wanna tell the ladies, now y'all know that's a sensitive subject for her. Y'all know what she done been through with her body over the years, okay? You know she was the token big girl and now, you know, she, she doing it. But she still has to feel confident in that body dysmorphia or something. So leave that girl alone. Don't be talking about asses. Don't be talking about a lack of an ass, a big old ass. Don't say shit about nobody ass. Just shut up. Everybody can't have big old BBLs like y'all. I just wondered why they thought, oh my gosh, she's so sensitive about that. And mm, she probably, she don't have an ass. And it's like, shut up. Like... Hmm. Candy was like, can y'all make up so we can go get this money? Um, and I was the same way. I was like, damn, just, huh. she's your sister at the end of the day. Call with a thing. Let's get this coin. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, the ladies of SWV are rehearsing and Coco is gonna always sound like the record, okay? I have had the pleasure of seeing them in concert a couple of times and she sounded like the damn record each and every time. Huh, Lily said, we are blessed enough to do about 50 to 100 shows a year. I said, damn, Gina, but I believe it. I believe it because they are always rehearsing. They always somewhere. I always see SWV on the ticket. They gonna get their coin regardless. We see more of Tasha and her family. And I didn't know she had a grown son. Like seriously, because we don't really see, I think it's because we see a lot of candy that we've grown up with Riley and everybody. And same with Tiny, we've grown. I've seen Major when he came out the coach. Okay, we feel like we know them kids. For the sisters, I'm kind of like, Lord, I didn't know y'all had children. Speaking of Tiny, we head over to her house. These kids are grown, okay? Eris is about my age, and Major, he got a job. It's crazy. She's been with Tip for 21 years? That is nuts. She was like, it has been a job. I was <laughs> oh, I was hollering. I still think it's funny that he don't want her to work. Like, I, I never understood that with him. He's so like, what you gonna work for? Because the audacity of you having a full-time job expenditure is below. It's like, shut up, Tim. Get the, have a seat. Thank you. If I'm gonna work, that's what I'm gonna do. Have a beautiful day. I forgot that Tamika was in that Tyler Perry play. Her and her husband, they're cute. I'm like, okay, I, I see it. Sure. It's time for a brunch where everybody can get together. Tasha got there and she was looking at Tiny and Candy like David Ruffin in the who? What's their name? Don't touch me. Please don't touch. This is new. And it's like, girl, who are you? Then her sister comes in. It's even worse. She looking at her like she's never met her in her life. And it was like, what is happening? This is too much. Yikes. Um, mm. So everybody's talking about ideas for the tour and Taj was looking at Tasha and she was like, what's wrong? You look like something's bothering you. Don't look like you here, girl. And she was like, I'm fine. And it was like, no, you're not. You're not. You're clearly not. It's oozing off of you. I am not fine. Then she was like, well, here it is. We have some issues that we need to iron out before we even do anything. And I was hollering at Coco because Coco was like, look, we as a group don't communicate either. I mean, but we get on stage, do what we got to do and get this coin. Promise that's what we do. <laughs> but you remember when SWV had a show? I believe it was on BH1. Honey, the issues that they had, and they just could not get it together. But once they got on stage, they were like, fuck it. So I think now they're in the time of their careers. And she was like, we're in our 50s. We don't have time. So we're going to get on stage, even if we don't like each other, and get this money. And I was like, you know what? I can, I can respect it. Because these are going to be your group mates for the rest of your life, pretty much. Nobody's dead, so why not? But then at the end of the day, what, what issues do you have? You shouldn't have those type of issues anymore. You just shouldn't. Lily said it best, and Lily is the voice of reason at this table. She was like, we can have hiccups with our boyfriends, spouses, sneaky links, and we give them another chance. But when it comes down to us, it's like, cut off, girl, fuck you. I ain't doing shit with you. Like, we need to do better. Like, we are our own worst enemy. We are too damn old. Let's get it together. And everybody was like, yes. Meanwhile, SWV is performing in Africa the next day for this rich dude's birthday. Okay? And they done secured the bag. So while they're bickering and arguing, okay, and doing shows sporadically, SWV is on their way to South Africa. I said, you know what? That's how you cut. That's how you get the bag. Okay? That's how you do that there. But granted, they've gone through the same mess as a sky bag. Oh, Lord. Here comes the scene that everybody has seen on Instagram. <sighs> the sisters go to their mama's house. And honey, she, 
I about was like, Tasha, you, when you go in her mama's house, it was like, what did you cook? It looked like she, it looked like it has like a light scent of fried chicken, okay? And a nice perfume, because that's what she gave it. Because she even gave them something to drink and put the paper towel over it. I said, yeah. Okay, can we get to the stolen money piece? So, well, before then, you can see how... Tasha then wanted to hug Tamika when she came in. And she was like, oh, we're hugging now. And she was like, we're sisters. Like, what do you mean? And she's like, oh, so now we're sisters. So granted, this was after the brunch. Seemed a little off-putting, but the mom of the whole time, she was just saying a little slick stuff with Tamika as opposed to Tasha. And you can tell she does favor her a little bit, or maybe in this instance, I don't know, but I was really looking at it like, girl, you need to be objective with this because you can tell both of them are hurting. Ah, but it was a little slick stuff, little jabs here and there. And then you could see Tamika, she was just getting hype, hype, hype. And she was like, because you stole from me. And then out of nowhere, everybody was like, what? And then here goes um, Tasha, there's nothing to steal, baby. Like, what would I steal? She was like, over $30,000. And mama, you know, because you're quiet. Every time you're taking up for her, you get quiet. And I was like, oh, shit. And then here goes the mama, turn the cameras off. Get the hell out of my house. And she was like, oh, they got to turn the cameras off now. And then it's now on to the next episode. So I'm sitting here like, they even asked Tasha in the confessional, did you and Rocky steal money from her? And she was like, no, it was, a, it was a little hesitation. And my thing is, why would somebody say you stole royalty money? I'm your own sister now. I don't know. I don't know. We need to iron that out. Somebody get me an iron. We need to iron that out because something's off with that. Something's a little off with that. We need to get to the bottom of it. Now, do I think she stole some coin? I'm sorry. I, I don't feel like nobody's going to say their family done stole 30000 on the TV. I don't, huh? what, what say you? Let's talk about that down below. That's a bit much. Also, let's talk about what you think about this show. Are you going to continue watching it? I know I am. Honey, this is some good TV. It's felt good. I enjoyed getting back doing this. But thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.